If you were sitting down to a coffee in one of your favourite Derby coffee cans and you were asked if you would like cream, you would probably expect it to be served in a nice little creamer, a cream jug like this spode one. Um, but would you get a surprise if it was served instead in one of these? This is of course a cow creamer and that is the subject of my video. There is some contention about the origin of the cow creamer. Some say that they were first made in pewter or silver in Holland, copied by the Delft potters and exported to England in the middle of the 18th century. But I'm more in favour of the story that a clever and enterprising London silversmith, John Shupp, made the first cow creamer in England in silver in 1762. Cream comes from milk and milk comes from a cow. What could be more appropriate for the dispensing of milk or cream at the table than a cow? It then becomes obvious that the numerous potteries of the Staffordshire area quickly caught on to the idea of the ceramic cow creamer. Inspired, of course, by Mr. Shupp's silver one, and a plethora of ceramic cow creamers was the result. The potteries of Yorkshire, South Wales and South Scotland also began producing them, in part because Staffordshire potters moved to these areas to, or to establish or run the potteries there, and the idea became very popular in Europe and indeed many other countries over the next century uh, began to produce cow creamers. Ceramics is an art form which has always inspired a great deal of imagination and improvisation which is very evident with the creamers that I am about to show you. We will begin with the earliest examples from the Staffordshire potteries. These are from the Thomas Wilden pottery. The pigments were applied under the glaze by painting or sponging with metallic oxides, mainly iron and copper and then a transparent glaze was applied. During the gloss firing, the colours flow and produce this effect. This very rare one is a Lowestoft cow creamer from about 1780, and it is in soft paste porcelain with a splash of iron decoration under a clear lead glaze. These are three examples of late 18th century Dutch Delft creamers and they are all in tin glazed earthenware. The first one is a typical hand painted cobalt blue design and the other two are polychrome decorated on the white tin glaze. But the bulk of the extraordinary number and variety of cow creamers from the Staffordshire factories began to appear at the turn of the 19th century. As we go along you may notice that many have lids of various kinds and of course the tail makes an excellent handle. This is a transfer printed one from the Welsh Glamorgan pottery. Uh, you'll notice that they were all single cow creamers. But many potters chose to add a milking maid to their sculpture. Decoration by sponging the colour onto the pot using a natural sea sponge was very common at this time. And then in a different way the milkmaid was added like this and she becomes the handle. or in this case, the farmhand handle. These creamers have a hole in the top of the head for filling them with cream. And then another idea springs into the mind of the cow creamer creator, and that is to add a calf to the sculpture like these. I should say something about the technical construction of the cow creamer. By the turn of the 19th century, most potters were familiar with mould making and slip casting. The original shape is made by hand. A plaster of Paris mould is formed from that. Uh, 
Then the creamer is made by pouring liquid clay or slip as it's called into the mould. After a period of time a thin wall of clay is deposited on the inside of the mould. The mould is then emptied and after a period of drying the hollow vessel is removed from the mould. All additional decorations are then added by hand. And even more imaginative are these cow creamers with an added bocage, uh, which is a French word for a grove of trees. I wonder where this idea came from of having a monkey as the lid of the, of the creamer. This is a pink luster cow creamer from the Sunderland Pottery and in contrast is this mid-Victorian resting cow creamer. And in conclusion we'll look at a few from other countries. This one is French faience uh, and this funny little one comes from Germany. Looks more like a buffalo. Meissen has produced this resting cow creamer. And this pretty little transfer printed one comes from Poland. And this lovely one is Limoges porcelain. And here are two modern Dutch ones, one from Gouda and one from Delft. And the Czechoslovakians seem to prefer their cows in a sitting position. <laughs> This is a very lovely example of a Rockingham cow creamer from the United States, mid 19th century. And who else but the Japanese could think up this particular style of cow creamer? Now people do collect cow creamers and on the left you can see that the handle is very useful for hanging them. Cheers.